Do you ever have trouble sleeping because your cat won't leave you alone at night? You're not alone. In fact, many people who own cats experience difficulty getting a good night's rest due to their furry companion's disruptive behavior. It can be really frustrating and leave you feeling exhausted the next day. But why do cats do this? And what can you do about it? Let's find out some reasons why your cat might be bothering you at night and some things you can try to help you sleep better. Cats are more active during dusk and dawn. Cats have a special sleep schedule called crepuscular. This means they're most active during dawn and dusk. It's their natural instinct from wild times when they hunted during low light. Even indoor cats feel this urge to play around sunrise and sunset. It's in their genes. So even if they're pampered house pets, they still have this instinct. But why does your cat keep you awake all night if they're only active during these times? Well, it's more about their daily routine. Temperature regulation. Cats have a higher body temperature than humans, and they are naturally drawn to warmer environments. During the day, when temperatures are higher, cats often seek out cool and shaded spots to rest. However, as the night falls and temperatures drop, they become more active, seeking warmth and movement to regulate their body temperature. Playtime. Cats are playful creatures by nature, and they often view the nighttime as an opportunity for play and exploration. When the house is quiet and there are fewer distractions, cats may feel more comfortable engaging in activities that they find enjoyable, such as chasing toys, pouncing on imaginary prey, or exploring their surroundings. Hunting instincts. Despite living in our homes and being well-fed, cats retain their hunting instincts. The nighttime triggers these instincts, prompting them to engage in behaviors that mimic hunting, such as stalking, pouncing, and chasing. Even if they are not actively hunting for prey, these behaviors provide mental and physical stimulation for cats, helping to keep them alert and agile. Socialization Some cats may also be more active at night due to social reasons. Cats are solitary animals by nature, but they still have social interactions, particularly with their human companions. For cats that are more bonded to their owners, nighttime may be when they seek attention, affection, or playtime, as it may coincide with when their owners are home from work or school. What should I do? If my cat keeps me awake at night, schedule playtime and snacks. Help your cat adjust its sleeping routine by playing with it for an hour before bedtime. Then give it a small snack. This can make your cat less likely to bother you for food during the night. After a few tries, your cat might learn that it won't get attention from you and stop bothering you at night. Make your cat awake a little longer. One simple way to help your cat sleep at night is to prevent them from taking late afternoon naps. If your cat stays awake more in the evening, they might be more tired when it's bedtime for you. Playing games with your cat, like chasing a laser pointer or playing fetch with a toy, can tire them out. The longer you keep your cat active and awake, the better chance they'll be ready to sleep when you are. Keep your door closed. Even if you shut your bedroom door to keep your cat out, it might still scratch at the door for a bit, but eventually it will likely give up and either go to sleep or find something else to do. To prevent damage to your door, you can mount a vertical scratch pad on it, trim your cat's nails regularly, or ask your vet to fit your cat with plastic nail caps. Don't let them sleep in your bed. If you have trouble sleeping, it's a good idea not to let your cat sleep on your bed. Keep your bedroom off limits for your cat at all times. Instead, give your cat a cozy bed in another room like a spare room or a quiet corner of the living room. You can also set up a screen for some privacy. Even the bathroom can work if it's comfortable for your cat. Just make sure wherever your cat sleeps, there's water and a litter box nearby. To help your cat get used to its new bed, you can rub a little catnip on it at first. Offer a small meal before bed. Cats often fall asleep after eating, just like humans do. 
Giving your cat a small meal right before bedtime might help them settle down for the night. If your cat tends to wake you up for food, especially in the early morning, consider using a smart bowl, also known as an automatic pet food feeder, to dispense some food at that time. Ignore them. If your cat just wants you to wake up, like to play or to give them food, and you respond by getting up, you're being trained by your cat instead of the other way around. When you react to your cat's demands, you're teaching them that they can get what they want by bothering you enough. Ignoring this behavior can be tough, but it's important. Instead, take steps to prevent it from happening in the first place. However, if your cat is older and suddenly becomes more needy at night, it's a good idea to take them to the vet and not ignore the behavior. Avoid feeding immediately. If your cat wakes you up early in the morning asking for breakfast, try not to feed it right away. If you do, it might keep waking you up at that time. Instead, consider having a separate area like a spare bedroom where your cat can sleep, eat, drink, and use the litter box. Keeping this area away from your bedroom can help improve your sleep and your relationship with your cat. Keep your room dark. To prevent your cat from pouncing on your toes at night, you can darken your room completely using room darkening shades. Also, consider replacing any digital or fluorescent dial clocks by your bedside with versions that don't emit light or simply use your phone for timekeeping. Don't reward or punish your cat. Punishing a cat for keeping you up at night can harm the bond between you and your pet. Giving them food or attention as a reward can also encourage the behavior. Don't reward your cat for waking you up at night. That means don't feed them, play with them, or yell at them. Yelling at your cat might even make the behavior worse, especially if they're seeking attention. Cats don't understand punishment like humans do. Instead, they may become afraid of the person punishing them. Yelling or spraying them with water is unfair and can cause unnecessary fear. Try medications. If changes in your cat's environment or schedule aren't helping them sleep at night, a veterinarian might prescribe anti-anxiety medication or a special diet, even if there are no signs of health issues. However, no medication is completely safe. Before turning to prescription options, it's advisable to try over-the-counter calming aids for cats. If you liked today's video, be sure to hit like and subscribe for more content like this.